The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Today we're adding loops to a drum beat. This is a beat I just started. It's only a few layers, a sample, kick drum, snare, and a hi-hat. But uh, we're going to be sprucing this up real easy with some loops and using the loop cutting tool in Ableton to kind of customize our loops better for our groove. Let's check it out. A. Not much going on there. Let's add some loops. We're going into whole loops, raw hits one. This is my custom sample pack. I encourage you guys to check it out at wholeloops.com. Let's add some shakers. I'm gonna go for this one. It's the wrong tempo, but it's the right sound. We can fix the tempo. Let's warp it. The sample is 110 beats per minute, written up here next to the wave file. Um, we're gonna use this beat cutter thing to uh, make this loop. Let's turn it on and bring it back to here. Drag out our loop. And now we're gonna use our beat cutter Let's switch this to forwards only. This groove is twice as fast as what I want it to be. I'd rather be playing eighth notes, so we're going to hit this multiply button. That leaves us with a slower groove. Uh, actually, because I'm looking for eighth notes, I'm just going to go ahead and select eighth notes in here, because that will give me the cleanest output. So what this is doing is instead of warping the audio, it's just cutting it and spreading it apart and you can trim those pieces by like slicing it. Shorten that hi-hat down. Maybe pitch it down. I like that. Let's just turn the volume down a little bit. Do you produce music and love making hot club bangers? Do you find yourself constantly searching for those crispy snares and percussions? Do you want your beats to make people turn up? Maybe it's time you stepped up your sample pack library. Here at Whole Loops, we've got the product for you. Introducing Raw Hits, our debut sample pack of organically grown drum one shots, loops, effects, vocal samples, and all the production essentials you'll need to add some organic flavor to your secret sauce. Raw Hits is available now only at wholeloops.com. Move on. Let's grab ourselves a tambourine. I like this one. Sounds like an old drum break. A. Let's drag our loop out. Um, some, this thing's not always perfect. I like to get it right. Type in 116. Switch this to forward arrow. Pull that down. Clean some up. I like that. Let's see what happens when it cut to 16th. It's like a whole different loop. This uh, tambourine loop already has a lot of swing in it. It probably has more swing than the rest of the beat does, so I'm actually going to quantize this by hitting Command U. That's going to give me uh, whatever these settings in the Command Shift U menu are. I have it set to 16th notes. Let's get my groove. I quantized all my drums above these loops to this groove, and let's commit. You can see it shifted the uh, eighth notes over a little bit. Now it sits a lot nicer with the rest of my drums. Let's see what 16th gives us. Now, as you can see, we did a lot to change the way that these loops sounded 
without actually touching the loops themselves. Um, that's really the power of these settings right here. I was sleeping on this for the longest time. I used to just jump straight to Complex or Complex Pro and just decide which one sounded better. I never even thought to um, try slicing it to better fit my groove instead of warping it with one of these settings. That's all I wanted to show you guys. This is just kind of encourages uh, a little bit of uh, fresh ears when you're listening through your sample packs um, because as you can see a loop in the end can sound very different than it did when you pulled it out of your browser just by adjusting the settings in here. So uh, take these and apply these to your own songs. I'll see you next time with another tutorial.